everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rosie and I do an MSc in Forensic Archaeology and Anthropology at Cranfield University. This week's video is going to be a week in the life of my forensics course and particularly we are doing environmental forensic science this week. So that's entomology, soil science, botany, all that good stuff. Don't be fooled into thinking that this sunset shot means I got up early. I did get up fairly early. In fact, I got up extremely early for me but I did set my camera off and then go back to bed. This is my outfit today. Ignore the messy background. I really didn't have enough time to tidy up, but I will do when I get home. I've got a top from Hollister that was very much in the sale. And then these ASOS jeans that are like a wrap. And they're, I think the first pair of jeans I've had in ages that fit perfectly. Can't even see me. Oh, there we are. It is freezing. I think it's the coldest morning yet. Oh, but my hat's nice and toasty. And I'm nearly there. I've got to get my card like tapped on security because we're in buildings we wouldn't normally be in with our cards. So I need to do that first. I don't even know if I'm in focus right now, but this is where you get. Hello there. This is the most ridiculous public footpath. Like, it <laughs> hi, hello. It's like I don't know half two. I'm actually missing a lecture right now because I had to go to a physio appointment. I actually don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going. I'm gonna go this way. I'm trying to find my way back. I've never been this way before. I've never walked, and I don't. I think I'm gonna walk again without my walking boots. A terrible decision. I did manage to get back in time for a forensic photography workshop, which basically involved us all using our cameras and tripods to practice taking photos on manual mode. Look how good that photo is. Of what? What's it all? Of the map. That's good. You can see everything. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Tuesday! I'm back on campus again for another day of in-person lessons. I'm not really sure what I've got today. I think I've mostly got entomology, so I'll just be doing a load of like bug stuff. <laughs> hopefully I could show you it and then hopefully we have a workshop so we can actually show you some practical stuff. But for now, I'm gonna go and get coffee. At 9am I had a forensic entomology introduction lecture and forensic entomology is the study of insects in a criminal investigation. So from the early stages, insects are attracted to like body decomposition and can lay eggs in it. So if you study the insect population and then the development stages, the larvae stages, then you can estimate things like postmortem index, movement of the body, position of corpse and you know like possibly even cause of death. It's lunchtime now, we've just had the morning session on lots of bugs, which is kind of, it's not put me off my food, which is probably a good sign. <laughs> got a sandwich. I don't know what we've got this afternoon. A lecture? Just a le lecture. Two lectures. And tomorrow's like a workshoppy day with someone from a local forensics place. So that's cool. Hello, I am back from uni and I'm about to do a HIIT workout in my room that needs tidying drastically. After this workout, I'm gonna chill for a bit, wrap some Christmas presents and make some food and then do some more of my 
expert witness report. I've got fur tonight. It's basically vegetable soup. And I'm watching this. No shame. None at all. I am currently now trying to set up this new laptop. Oh, great start, Rosie. This new laptop, it is a Microsoft Surface Laptop Go, and I was gifted, gifted this laptop from Microsoft. <laughs> I can't believe that I am able to say that. <laughs> so uh, here she is. Can you believe that I got this gifted? I can't. Okay. I want it in English. Oh, it's so light. Hi there. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way. I don't have an Alexa, so that is terrifying to me. <laughs> I'm in. This is what I'm watching. Components uh, for... I've got to watch that buffer uh, tomorrow. <laughs> In retrospect, In case, I shouldn't have tried to start a whole new laptop at 10.30 p.m. Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday and I'm actually doing my first lecture from home today. I'm halfway through it, it's on bone taphonomy, which I actually did at undergrad, so that was one of the reasons I wanted to do it at home, so I could watch it a little bit faster and also get some stuff done because I've got like houseworky things that I need to do but I've got half an hour basically to watch the next part and then get into uni so I'm gonna get on with that and join you <laughs> when I'm a little bit more organized just some light reading for the morning the task right now is to just read through this paper and then ask any questions that we want just so they know we're engaging with like the literature and stuff and that was my lecture I've just made my lunch and I'm basically ready to go in now. We have this beautiful soil and you can see here we have um, just sand and peats. You if you dig a peat up it tends to sort of fall apart in all down. Mantel jar, now we've covered this um, partly. I, you are going to use colour in terms of its intensity. So let's look at pH, as you can see pH now just remember. That afternoon we had an entomology workshop with someone from a local forensics firm and also a soil workshop with the person who was teaching that lecture you just saw. We basically got out these microscopes, so these are USB microscopes and then you'll also see the big stereo microscope as well in a second, but we had to just look at them underneath the microscope, identify them, get used to using evidence forms and examination forms. <laughs> Three different fly species that we were looking at today were Calophora vomitoria, Calophora vicina, and Lucilia sericata. So Lucilia, <laughs> Lucilia sericata are the kind of shiny green ones that you'll see in the microscope soon, and then Calophora vomitoria are blue ones with like an orange sort of beard, and Calophora vicina are blue, and so you just kind of have to look at the beard. It's what I've learned in this practical. <laughs> Oh. 
Good evening, everyone. I hope you enjoyed all of that fly content. I actually really enjoyed today. The flies more than the soils, but that is purely my preference. The labs I just enjoyed in general because we got to use a microscope. It's actually my mine and my boyfriend's three year anniversary today. So I've been on the phone to him for ages. There was an interlude there. But now I need to get working. Well, as soon as I've eaten. There she is. Yes, I have got five sausages, but they, they go off tomorrow well and they need to be eaten by tomorrow so i'm i'm having five sausages i don't care and there goes the gravy this is such comfort food oh i drown it in gravy and we have the christmas the royal baby yesterday we had the wedding today we have the royal baby It's Thursday and I have a practical today so I need to set off now in order to get there 15 minutes early so that I'm not behind because we have to get like full scene suits on and everything. There's sheep outside today which is cute and like there's fog and frost and I can tell it's going to be freezing so I need to put on loads of layers. I'm on my way now and I can confirm it is absolutely freezing. Look at the frost on the ground. Oh, it's about a half an hour walk. For this practical, we were given two different scenes. We had a car scene, which is the one I'm doing now, and also a body scene. Our job was to retrieve soil samples and to retrieve entomological samples. We basically had to sort of organise how we were going to do this ourselves. So each member of the group had a different role. I did photography, someone else did soil, someone else did bugs. That's how it worked. And we basically then have to use all of this data to write our assignment. Later. Got my work in front of me and some carrots and hummus. In all honesty, I had spaghetti hoops today for tea because I couldn't be bothered to cook anything else. Good morning, happy Friday. Late again. Look how foggy it is. <laughs> You cannot see anything. Today I'm in the lab. I think it's just in the morning, but we're basically sorting and analyzing all of the finds that we got yesterday from the mock crime scene. We're being entomologists and soil scientists. And in the afternoon, I'll just get back on with my report and like writing up my findings and things. wondering what's going on right now so we're actually in a soil lab and basically we're testing to see what type of soil it might be there's lots of charts and flow charts and do you know like those quizzes you got in magazines where it's like do you like Taylor Lautner yes and then the next question will be well you like brown hair no and then you go down the thing and you find out who you're gonna marry yeah it was like that but with soil <laughs>
phone tower. Yeah, it's that phone <laughs> After we'd finished in the lab, we went for lunch in the common room. Yes, this is all my food. It was amazing. Then I went home because it was pretty early. I just wanted to get back to my room. I did a quick workout to sort of sweat out the week and then tidied my room because it was an incredible mess. Had a shower and then I went to bed. So I'm actually going to stop the video now because I forgot to film an outro and I'm sure you're probably sick of me rambling by this point. <laughs> so I will see you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you don't already. Bye guys.